Hi, I'm Chiara from Our Sacred Seat and I'm sitting here today in the lovely company of Ladies Mantle, this beautiful plant here. It's called Ladies Mantle because the leaves remind us of the Virgin Mary's cape that she wears around her shoulders. And it is a very feminine plant. This plant truly carries a feminine energy. She is related to the goddess and planet Venus and to other fertility goddesses. Um, in the Swedish tradition, she was used as a means of conceiving. So women would wear crowns of ladies' mantles in their hair uh, during lovemaking and they were sure to be with child. Another practice uh, that was used in Swedish folklore was to put ladies' mantle leaves under the pillow and the woman would surely dream of her future children. So it is a beautiful plant and it's beautiful to discover and learn the stories of each plant. Now this plant is a perennial and it likes to grow in cooler climates and the leaves can be consumed with this plant. The younger leaves can be consumed cooked or raw and we can also use the flowering shoots of the plant. Now this plant has different constituents. It contains tannins, it's got those bitter flavors and it's also got salicylic acid which is also um, what aspirin is made of and in fact one of the benefits of this plant is that it eases pain and inflammation and it's especially good so coming back to its relationship to women it's very good at balancing um, your period so if you have excessive blood loss uh, this plant because of its astringent qualities it can help to slow down the bleeding and just reduce it it is also helpful in easing the changes of menopause um, it's also very beneficial for period pains um, if you do suffer from PMS you might like to combine uh, so make an infusion of ladies mantle and lemon balm they both have very similar benefits in easing the the disturbances caused by PMS. This plant, again because of its astringent quality, is very good for diarrhea. Um, you can also use it with other wounds that are bleeding, so if you're losing blood and you want to cause some kind of contraction in the area, Ladies Mantle is the plant for you. It can also be used as a mouthwash if you have sores or ulcers in your mouth, and you can also use it to gargle with if you're suffering from laryngitis. Now what you want to do is either um, go to a herbalist and uh, purchase some of this plant dried or you can dry it yourself and we will be posting a video on how to dry your own herbs. Now with ladies mantle, if you wanted to make an infusion, you would place two teaspoons of dried ladies mantle in a cup, uh, pour boiling water over it and leave it to sit for 10 to 15 minutes. Instead, if you're suffering from diarrhea or if you want to use it as a mouthwash, you want to extract the tannins from the leaves. And to do this, you would have to boil the dried leaves for a few minutes. And that way you can just sip on it, gargle and spit it out. If you are pregnant or breastfeeding, do consult your physician before uh, consuming ladies mantle as it can interfere with them. Um, with pregnancy so just be careful in that way otherwise enjoy your ladies mantle and keep being curious bye